guys, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. Well, uh, it's been a minute since we've talked about the Goslin family drama. There has been a lot that's happened with them over the last several months and Thanksgiving was last week and apparently there was a family feud that went down at Kate's house. Back in town for Thanksgiving were Maddie and Kara along with her their four siblings who are still under Kate's care and apparently a fight broke out at dinner. So before we get started and talk more about that, do me a favor by giving this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed and turn those notifications on so you know when I go live. All right, so this is one of those days where I saw this earlier this week and I thought, hmm, interesting. It's just been one of those weeks and I'm like late to the party, but here's what happens. There was a trend going on on TikTok last week when people on TikTok were recreating a very iconic fight on Thanksgiving that happened on the hit show Gossip Girl. And Maddie updated in a TikTok set to Jason Del Rose, uh, What You Say. And then the truth came out, I just didn't know what to do. posted on TikTok which said I was going to make a fam I was going to make my family do this trend at dinner but then it happened in real life and she then wrote at the end everything is all good. Now we know there's been a lot of stress that's been happening with this family as of late. For instance, Kate is moving the house. Kate has sold her house. So they sold the house that she bought back when she was still married to John and she sold it for over a million dollars and there are plans now for the family to uproot and move. There has not been any sort of indication on where she's going to move and what they're going to do. The, the, uh, the sextuplets will be seniors next year. They are currently in their junior year of high school. So with Kate preparing to move and with everything going on, obviously there would be some stress there, but then there's just been this added stress of this ongoing mu media fight between John and Kate. So prior to the holiday, John went on to Dr. Oz and basically unloaded about what happened between him and Colin. During the interview with Dr. Oz, he basically admitted that Kate had only seen Colin for like one and a half hours in the last five years. He also said that he had not seen his own children for the past two years. He claimed that Kate had been causing parental, parental alienation, which was making it so that the kids did not want to have a relationship with him. Now, Maddie and Kara are adults and they are not in the middle of this fight, but the interesting part of it is that they have not wanted to pick a side. Maddie is very active on social media. She's active on her TikTok. She's active on her Instagram. She's not one to sort of shy away and interact with people when they make comments on her photos. And so sometimes Kate will actually comment under her photos. Well, if you remember everything that happened was John got into an altercation with Colin. Colin then called the cops. Kate then ran to People Magazine and basically said that John was a monster and needed to be held accountable. And then everything happened where John then released or someone close to John released some documents that allegedly showed that, no, that Colin had been like zip tied to a chair because of issues that he was having when he was a kid. There was a lot of stuff that were going on. John was sort of cagey about what the diagnosis was that uh, Colin had. At one point he said that everything that Colin experienced was because of what Kate had done to him. And then when he was on Dr. Oz, he said that he had a team and he, he described Colin's state during that altercation as manic. So with that being said, Kate then went on to sell the house after this whole feud blows up. John tells Dr. Oz that Hannah was not told about this by Kate. They find out from a third party. Kate, Hannah is upset. Prior to Thanksgiving, John was still like putting the hope out there that Hannah and Colin might be able to see their siblings. And it sounds like that likely did not happen. It sounds like Hannah and Colin spent Thanksgiving with John, John and Colleen, John's girlfriend of six years. They recently celebrated their six year anniversary and she shouted out happy anniversary to him and admitted that they had been through a lot on Instagram. So back to the fight. What possibly could they have been fighting about on the at the Gosselin house? Who knows? They're, they're moving, which can be stressful as it is. 
there's this underlying family stress that's going on. John is constantly in the media talking about the family. And then you have two of the sisters that are back home from college. The kids are 16 or 17 years old at this point, meaning it's a lot of opinions, it's a lot of people, and there's a lot of emotions. Leaving a house that you've grown up with could also elicit a lot of emotions from the family. And it also sounds like the cooking and the responsibility of the meal actually fell onto the kids. So, so Maddie shared a photo on her Instagram, which basically was a spread of food that she had put together for Thanksgiving. And she said that this was very millennial of me. And then Kate wrote, and then Kate responded by saying, so delicious, even my fashionista girl, even my fashionista girl can cook, right, Mad? Thank you for my girls for taking control of the cooking today so I could focus on sorting and packing. So could it have been that on a day which was supposed to be for the family, it was supposed to be this big spread, that Kate couldn't even stop to be bothered to cook and spend time with her kids and instead was spending time sorting and packing? Now, I understand it's a big undertaking to move, but you would think that you could at least take one day off to be with your family and not have to worry about doing those things. So while the kids were all cooking, Kate was sorting and packing. I don't know if I buy that. That could have, I mean, that the stress alone of Kara and Maddie having to cook for everyone, along with potentially their siblings all being in the kitchen. I mean, have you ever tried to cook with someone and like fights can break out just be by cl the closeness of proximity? And then there's just this whole like, thing about quarantine. Like you're around these people constantly. It's easy for fights to happen. I don't think that there's some sort of massive underbrewing issue here, but who knows? The good news is, is that everything happened to work out. Now, John has been quiet. So after a, another round of going to the media and sort of like, you know, putting everything out there, blaming Kate for everything, John has now sort of retreated back into life where he is not really talking anymore, which is a good thing. So we only have these bit, blips and clips now from Maddie to give us any sort of indication about what is potentially going on with the family. For Maddie's part, she had been at school in at Syracuse, and it sounds like she's going to be back home. I'm not sure if Syracuse is going back to school for this next semester. A lot of schools, especially on the college campuses, are not returning right now due to up in an uptick in COVID cases around the country. So Maddie might have to spend the second half of her sophomore year back at home. Edgy. And that in and of itself would cause me to feel a little bit edgy. So what do you think the family fight was about? And why do you think Kate couldn't be bothered to help cooking? Do you think Kate ever cooks? I get the sense that Kate doesn't do a lot of cooking. There was actually this thing in Robert Hoffman's book where he wrote an auto, uh, uh, unapproved biography or whatever about Kate, which basically alleged that Kate did no cooking and basically relied on everyone else and she was not Betty Homemaker like she wanted everyone to believe she was. So I guess I'm not surprised that the kids were cooking. I just wonder how much cooking they do on other days and she has other excuses besides sorting and packing. All right, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.